Now, in this question, you have to find the set S wherein f of m is less than 0. Now, a lot of people look at this as a functions question and they look at it as a theoretical question because there are no numbers to play with, right? You just have to look at scenarios and figure out which of the following statements holds true, right? And that becomes a bit difficult. Now, but in this context, if you know how exactly the graph of this function, a quadratic function looks like when there are no real solutions, then that makes your life a lot easier. So, just to give you some context, when b square is less than 4ac, it basically means that we will have all imaginary solutions or complex roots or complex numbers, complex uh, solutions to this particular function, right? Now, whenever you have complex uh, roots to a particular equation, what does it mean? It basically means that this quadratic equation is not going to intersect the x-axis at all. So, if you have, let us say this as an xy plane, if you have a quadratic equation that looks like this, it basically tells you that there are two real roots that are present because it cuts the x-axis at two different points. If it is tangential to the x-axis, then we know, th know that there will be exactly one root and that will be a common root that will be present. This will happen when b square equals 4ac. When b square is less than 4ac, what is going to happen is you will have a solution set which looks like this. It does not intersect the x-axis at all, meaning there are no real roots to this particular equation, right? So, this is what we mean when we say b square is less than 4ac. Now, one more thing you have to understand and this is a very nice trap that has been set into this question. A lot of us only imagine these particular scenarios as I have drawn here. But this is basically when you have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c or an expression ax square plus bx plus c where a is greater than 0. What if a is less than 0? If a is less than 0, then you will have a reflection of this, right? So, in this particular case, there will be two scenarios that will be present. When a is greater than 0, you will have a u-shaped curve which will be above the x-axis, meaning it will not intersect the x-axis at all, right? So, in that case, what you are going to get is we need to find all integers such that f of m is less than 0, right? So, the set S must necessarily be what? And that is basically the context that you have. So, fx in this particular case or f of m in this particular case gives us all imaginary roots, right? So, for what all cases is f of m going to be less than 0? So, f of m is going to be less than 0 in this particular case for nothing, right? There will be no value for which f of m will be less than 0. Why? Because it does not go below the x-axis at all. So, whatever values you put, you are going to get a positive solution, right? So, in this case, we are going to say that there are no values of m for which f of m will be less than 0, right? So, if you look at the options, there will be an empty set that could exist. At the same point in time, if I am looking at this particular case, then it will be true for all integers because it will never go above the x-axis. So, because this curve is always going to stay below the x-axis and it goes on till infinity, we know that it will comprise of all possible integers that exist, right? So, the empty set is also possible, all set of integers is also possible. Now, we are not saying all positive integers because it can go this way as well and it can give you negative integers as well in the second case. So, the answer has to be option 4. It will either be an empty set which is above the x-axis or the set of all integers which will be below the x-axis. So, it was a very nice trap that was set into this particular question and you had to remember these two cases wherein a would be greater than 0 above the x-axis, a less than 0 completely below the x-axis.